losing lifesavers. It should be essential service. Why a rural Iowa county is hemorrhaging EMS workers, the plan that could get some to come back. Life-saving workers. If I start losing more people, it's going to be almost impossible to have two full ambulances. In an update to Essential, a KCCI investigation. We couldn't afford to do that. The change one Iowa County was forced to make that's driving EMS workers out of the area. We're in a hard place too. And the say voters will have on a possible solution. Losing life-saving workers. If I start losing more people, it's going to be almost impossible to have two full ambulances. In an update to Essential, a KCCI investigation. We couldn't afford to do that. The change one Iowa County was forced to make that's driving EMS workers out of the area. We're in a hard place too. And the say voters will have on a possible solution. This is Iowa's news leader, KCCI 8 News at 6. When you dial 911, an ambulance may not show up. Depending on where you live in Iowa, that's because EMS is not an essential service in our state, so funding is not legally required. But as KCCI Chief Investigative Reporter James Stratton tells us, people in several counties will vote this November to raise their own property taxes and fund EMS to make it an essential service. And Stephen Stacy, Calhoun County is one of those counties facing that funding problem. It thought it had it figured out, right? 24 hour shifts, two of them each week to EMS workers who received full time pay for those shifts. That all changed August 1st when the county reverted back to closer to what it had before, cutting pay in half for those workers while they're sleeping overnight. It's really a, a close knit family. Dallas Huddleston is leaving his Calhoun County EMS family. I was going to have my salary cut by $14,000 over $14,400 a year. Um, and I, we couldn't afford to do that. Huddleston turned in his resignation and will take his paramedic skills to another nearby county, all because of a change in how he gets paid. Trying to get back to full time when I can't compete with some of the payroll from the surrounding areas. Huddleston isn't alone. EMS Director Carrie Hole says on a staff of 14, she has two resignations, another who verbally stated they were switching jobs, and a couple of others looking elsewhere for work. We had actually taken down our help wanted sign two months ago. We will be putting some back up again. It's all because of a change in how EMS workers get paid in the county during the overnight hours in what's called sleep time. They get down to half of their hourly rate or minimum wage, whichever is higher. I wish that we could afford it. County board member Carl Lagore explains that's why the county voted on the change. In November of uh, 2020, uh, 20, uh, yeah, 21, we were uh, $200,000 over budget on the EMS. Over time, was extremely high and that really bumped up our budget for the, this past fiscal year. They did not want that to happen again. They were trying to find ways to decrease that amount. Fully staffed Calhoun County has two ambulances ready to respond at any time. Now it is forced down to just one about once or twice a week. If I start losing more people, it's going to be almost impossible to have two full ambulances. I also applaud uh, Carrie for her dedication to her people. And uh, we've put her in a hard place and we're in a hard place too because we have to delicately balance the budget with the well-being of the county. That could get a little easier to balance if voters in November approve a tax referendum on the ballot, something both Hull and Lagore support. A, a positive vote is, is for your own safety and it's important. It, it should be essential service and I'm confident that after uh, the election it, it will be essential service in Calhoun County. Until then, Hall and the Calhoun County Ambulance Service will work the difficult balance of staffing and service. Most of the calls are not life threatening. They just need help and help will make sure is coming one way or another, but it may take a little time. And Lagore says it is still unclear how much the EMS Advisory Council will ask for or what an essential service looks like in Calhoun County if voters pass that tax referendum. Calhoun, one of a handful of counties in our state with the essential service tax referendum on their ballots in November. Huddleston, the EMT paramedic you saw resigning, is going to Wright County. EMS is essential there, but he says that did not factor in his decision to resign. Steve.
Thank you, James. KCCI has been tracking this issue for months now. If you'd like to see our full coverage of Essential, a KCCI investigation, just scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen or